welcome back to another Stitches and Scribbles bullet journal. Today I'm working on my July spreads. As always, I'm starting by marking off my tape color and my table of contents and then marking the edge of the page so that I can see where July starts from the outside of my bullet journal. I chose red for this one because we're going with a classic red, white, and blue theme. with my monthly title and added in some stars. I did another one of those circle wreaths. I know I've done a lot of them so far this year. Um, that isn't something that I did frequently in the past, but for some reason I've been really liking those. So I did another one, but instead of flowers and leaves, I used stars. I used a couple different shades of blue and red, ranging from really deep tones to lighter tones. I also had that kind of coral red color as well. I remember to do my quote page this time, so this month we have some song lyrics. swirls and more of those stars to tie it in. Then I started my first weekly spread. July starts on a Thursday so I only had to do half of a spread. We did some drop shadows with a different shade of blue. It kind of a fun summary vibe. this spread I wanted to start with a fun summary beverage. Um, I didn't really have a specific beverage in mind when I drew this other than I was thinking about a local restaurant near me that does really delicious layered 
margaritas and you can see all the different colors if you pick multiple flavors. So even though I have never personally seen a red, white, blue margarita, that's kind of what I was thinking of when I drew this. For the next one I wanted to do kind of a fruit theme, even though this isn't strictly part of the like red, white, and blue 4th of July typical color palette, um, I wanted to do some fruit because I think of lots of fruit salads and recipes with fruit in them over the summer. So I used kind of that pinkish coral color and a blue to make strawberries, added some little seeds, and then I made some blueberries as well. this time just to make it kind of match all the other little trackers. And as always, I forget what emotions I use, so I have to check the list every single time. I use that same color palette I used for the rest of the spreads, plus a couple of shades of gray. Then I started filling in star shapes and fireworks to be 
filled in throughout the month. shades of each color. I think Popsicle is my favorite though. Hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!